In this video, we will discuss how to compile and execute a C program using the GCC compiler. So first let us have uh, a look at our uh, previous program circle.c. After you have uh, saved your program, now open a terminal. To check which ver whether GCC is already installed on your system, run the following command GCC hyphen hyphen version. So currently my version is 4.6.3. To compile uh, and convert it into an executable, we use the command GCC and then circle dot C. So the program has compiled successfully which indicates that there are no sin errors in the syntax. Now if you see the contents of the file, a new file by name a.out has been created which has the output of the program. To execute this program, we give the command dot slash a.out and this shows the output of the program. This is how you compile a C program and then execute it. But during the process of compilation, it's better we use additional options as in gcc hyphen w all then the file name. So let's have a look at the program as to why this warning was issued. So if you see in this program there is a variable dcirc which is not used at all. So the compiler is giving us a warning saying that unused variable dcirc. So we'll go back and delete that variable which is not used. Let's recompile the program after saving the edited file. Now there are no issues. Again you can execute the program and you are going to get the output. Suppose I write a second program and compile it let's say square.c and the file name will be the output of the second file will be overwritten to a.out. So it's better to write the output of each file to a separate file. Okay. So use the option minus O and write the file name output as circle.x. So here we are saying write the output to circle.x rather than a.out. Now to run this program instead of typing dot slash out we have to type dot slash circle.x. So this is how we compile and execute a program. We will see the various phases of this transformation in the next video. Thank you.